Alexander the Great was one of history's most famous warriors. He not only had a compelling vision, he also knew how to make that vision become reality. By maintaining an excellent information system, he was able to interpret his opponent's motives and was a master at coordinating all parts of his military machine. Hi, I'm Ryan, and I wish these three videos were around when I was preparing to play in the first Super Nationals in Knoxville, Tennessee, way back in 1997. These videos were designed to help you understand and be prepared for tournament chess in general, and Super Nationals in particular, so that you might be the master at your own game. If chess is your passion, let us make that vision a reality. The first step is to be prepared for the 2017 U.S. Chess Super Nationals, also known as Super National 6, by understanding the tournament format, rules, and procedures. The topics covered will include Super National 6 Overview, Understanding Tournament Formats, Tournament Rules, including Touch Moon, Chess Clocks, Notation or Recording Your Moves, and Spectator Policies, How Award Winners or Trophies are Determined, and General Recommendations about Navigating Opryland and Enjoying Super National 6. First, a little bit about Super National 6. Every spring, U.S. Chess hosts three National Scholastic Championships the K-6, through or elementary, the K-9, through junior high, and the K-12, through high school. However, every four years, since 1997, U.S. Chess has combined those three events into one single event, Super Nationals. After Knoxville in 97, Super Nationals 2 was held in Kansas City, Missouri in 2001. Since then, it has been held at the same place that it will be hosted this year, Opryland Resort in Nashville, Tennessee. Regarding terminology, SS, or the Swiss system, tournaments, as opposed to round robins, are events in which a player is generally paired against someone with approximately the same score or game points each round. G90 refers to how much time a player has to make their moves. In this example, it is 90 minutes per player. For the first time, the elementary sections will have a different time control than the junior high and high school sections. It will be G90 with 5 second delay for the elementary, K6 and younger, while the K8, K-9, and K-12 sections will play G120 with a 5 second delay. Time delay means that before any time is deducted from a player's clock, 5 seconds will count down each move. So after a clock is pushed, with most clock models, you will see the time delay counter tick down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then it switches to the main clock which also starts to count down. One of the main purposes of this feature is so that quality games of chess aren't reduced to a contest of who has faster hands as both players' clocks tick down towards a time forfeit. Here are some of the important U.S. chess tournament rules to be aware of. Touch move. If you touch it and you can legally move it or capture it, you must do so. The player involved, not spectators nor tournament directors, must make claims regarding most rules. Spectators should never talk to anyone who is playing a game. If a player wishes to adjust a piece on a square, he must say adjust or jadu, loud enough for the opponent and players on the adjacent board to hear. If a player accidentally knocks a piece while obviously reaching for another, she or he is not required to move that piece. Clocks. If a player brings a clock and wishes to use it, the opponent cannot insist that they play without it. Digital clocks are officially preferred over analog clocks, and clocks using delay are preferred over non-delay clocks. All things being equal, black gets to choose which clock is used. Proper clock use. A player cannot push the clock until after a move is determined, hand released from the piece. A player must push the clock with the same hand that was used to make the move. The clock should be paused if there is a dispute at the board or if a player wants to make a claim, but not for purposes such as using the restroom or attempting to catch up on a notation. If a player knocks over a piece during his move, he must reset it before pressing the clock. Also, if you promote a pawn, you have to clearly indicate, usually by placing the new piece, which piece will replace the promoted pawn. Notation or recording moves. Notation is generally required in all sections in which the players are deemed to be able to record moves. For those players in sections that are not required to notate, notating is still recommended so players can review their game, prove the position, or claim a draw in certain situations. Players do not need to notate once either player in a game is down to less than 5 minutes on their clock. Electronic scorekeeping has special rules. 
electronic notation. U.S. Chess has recognized only the following systems as acceptable for electronic scorekeeping. Monroy, E-Notate, Ply Counter. No other systems are accepted at this time. Spectator Policies. In U.S. chess events, spectators have zero rights. In other words, if a tournament official or a player asks that a spectator move away from the board or out of the room, the spectator must do so or risk further penalty. Whenever spectators are allowed in the playing hall, they must remain in the designated areas. If the tournament director TV, allows spectators in the playing hall, they must observe these simple rules. No talking at all. Cell phones off or on silent. Always stand so the player who you are supporting cannot see you observing their board. Do not do anything that might give a player any indication that an interesting situation has arisen on their board. Awards. For Super National 6, the amount of awards given out will depend on this section. You should check the Super Nationals website or the program at the event for the detailed listing of trophies to be awarded. Additionally, in all sections except the K-1 sections, in which all players will receive a trophy, there are some category trophies for players who had the best scores among players of the same rating level in their section. For example, best 700 to 799 in the K-3 championship. These are also listed on the website. When two or more players finish with the same score, U.S. Chess uses a standard set of tiebreak rules to determine who earns the higher place in the standings. The complete set of rules are explained on the U.S. Chess website and in the tournament program, but in general, if your opponents have good results in the event, that helps your tiebreak score. Getting back to the venue for Super National 6, Opryland is huge. Almost everyone gets lost at least a few times over the weekend, unless you download the Navigate Gaylord Hotels app from the App Store on your iPhone or iPad. While there are numerous places to dine, with about 5,500 players in this event, plus parents, coaches, tournament officials, etc., you should allow extra time when planning your meals. Finally, I strongly suggest that you check out the extra activities. Besides Bug House and Blitz tournaments on Thursday, there will be several simultaneous exhibitions by famous grandmasters, lectures, Blitz versus a GM, and even a mini chess camp for newer players. For more information and to continue forming your master plan in the steps of this great Alexander, watch the next video below which unveils the basic knowledge and tactics for being the parent of a U.S. chess scholastic player.